Hi everyone, welcome to Playsons Shopping Village. Quite a big claim. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Playsons Mall. It's a really big mall. It is. There's a garden in the middle which we're going to try and see. That's pretty cool. Playsons Mall. Playsons Mall. Wow, just in time. <laughs> Started bucketing. Yeah, but look, we got a little bit of water. But we made it. We made it. <laughs> Playsons Shopping Village. Wow. Obviously it leaks a bit when it rains. <laughs> I do like the art installation, I suppose you're going to call it, or interior design, but it does look like the birds sleep up there at night. But anyway, oh wow, it's quite thick. There are plants in it. This is so cool. They actually have like palm trees in here. I don't know what's going to happen when they get bigger, but it's like, it's, it's like, it's like a, green, a green walkway. It is pretty cool. Body and soul with their models. Hi! <laughs> Apache Club, the Inca Spirit. It's kind of cool. It looks like they, they've got a door that goes to outside garden. It's a very spacious mall and there's places to sit. But it's very big. Fabi, look, the hairdresser. I think this is court. This whole area is court. It's massive. Oh, and that looks like a food court up there. Look at this reflected garden. Obviously there's a real garden there, but I can't see it yet. Wait. There it is. Oh, wow. There's the actual garden. But this is an outside garden. We've got the inside gardens and we've got the outside gardens. This is really pretty. And the sun has just perfectly come out. There's no swimming. Is there water down there? It looks like a pool, but I think it's empty. I'd say they need more rain, but I don't think so. <laughs> this is a massive urban food maker. Oh, they have their own sort of private food court. Intriguing. It says open. And there's people in there. Bring out the elephants. But the door's closed. Maybe it's air conditioned. I'll say something about the open air mall though, unfortunately. All the shops are closed because they're keeping the air conditioners on. It's a scorcher out here. And humid, wow. And humid. I sort of want to go walk in the park, but it looks hot out there. Let's go anyway. Oh, wow, this is really cool. Look at the sky and the palm trees and the ricky. Man, that is so boding. Wow. When we left the car two minutes ago, it was raining. So it we was, didn't bring our sunglasses. It was bucketing. <laughs> oh, what is it, our first day in Mauritius? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Mauritius, noobs. <laughs> Always take your umbrella. Always take your sunglasses. <laughs> wow, this is gorgeous. It is. And dramatic. So we got a big my store, really big one, which is where you can get all your home goods. This is the my store, and I thought I'd show you around a little bit because, well, well, actually, truthfully, because it's air conditioned. <laughs> so we thought we would just pop in and just walk around a little bit. And while we're in here, being cool, show you a bit of what's in here. Ricky's going to go upstairs. She'll let you know what's upstairs. Right, they've got some great um, sheets and bed covers. Nice plain ones. It looks like they have specials. You buy the first one 43, the second one's 37. So, really complicated maths. <laughs> Bathroom cleaner at 99 rupees. <laughs> and a ridiculously cute little. Oh, he's not actually soft. I thought he'd be soft, but he's a hedgehog. What was I thinking? Shoes. They do seem to have a weird assortment of things. This looks like dog things. Oh, you come and torch with your dog so you can find it at night. And then tools. It is, you know, interesting. How much is that tool set? 800 rupees for that tool set. With a hammer. And Ricky's back. How was upstairs? It's cool. The shoes and makeup and bags and oh. sheets. Okay, I found tools. I think we're cool enough now, Rick. Let's venture on. We stayed too long. Ricky found something. 
it's sort of like a supermarket. You come in one way and go out the other way. All the nice clothes are like Parking lot is very full. But it doesn't look like there's that many people here. There must be somewhere. Either that or it's just a really, really, really big place. It is. It's a massive centre though. I love these plants. They have an orchestra. For those of you with kiddies. Oh, is it a kiddie store? I thought it was like a band. And that's the other entrance. So you can come in from that entrance from the actual village of Rosebell. Oh man, the smell coming from this area is incredible. Churros. Maybe it's the churros. Haha, <laughs> the professor. Anyway. La Casa de Churros and they actually make these things as well which I'm not quite sure what they are but I think that one has a sausage in it or you can get it with nachos A little India sweets and snacks I've heard of them Wow Look at all of these Oh these look amazing Oh, the guys handed me a menu. Man, little India. Those all look amazing. This is why they invented summer in Mauritius. So you can have ice cream and waffles and things. Wow, rolled ice cream. Wow. Kappa bubble tea and they actually have the bubbles actual bubbles <laughs> on baths motion cuisine and Indian chat. Oh, I think those are those mixed bowls of something something. And a kebab express and of course and this pool chicken. Coming in fresh from the back. Steaming hot something. Oh man, it looks nice. Uh-huh. It all looks delicious. It all looks great. Ricky has ordered the Papti Chat. Papti Chat. Because I've heard of this but I've never it looks. Heard it when gonna, I say heard of it, I've read the word. Oh, you've read the word. We don't know what it is. But look, you can also get some tea in different flavors. Awesome. And their food looks absolutely delicious. Rich, and you can just taste that. Oh, potatoes and greens. Aubergines. Oh, that looks lovely. This is Kebab Express, and I haven't seen this before, but if you have a look in their window, they actually have some prepared things so that you can see what they look like straight up before you order. Huh, clever idea. Oh, this is the curry, it looks so good. Do my quash one of them. Fish curry. I must say, it has been a while. I think these things are, they don't normally make them, so. Happy chat. I must admit, now that I see it, I still have no idea what it is. It's like a crunchy thing, and some more crunchy things, some saucy stuff. Let's work that out. Um, might be sweet. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, it's definitely sweet. I'm gonna give one a go. Mm -hmm. Okay, after taking a bite, I'm still not sure. Um, um, I don't know. It's sour, spicy, a little bit of sweetness. On a crunchy biscuit thing, I have been this last idea. What I'm eating, I think there might be tamarind. Wow. Upon a little bit of further research, there's definitely some potato in there. Potato and tamarind and spicinesses, crunchy biscuit. It's actually really, really nice. Impossible to describe. She still hasn't figured it out. Mm -hmm. She has given up. Thanks, Rick. I want to see your reaction to this because I've never tasted anything like that before in my life. Mm. Mm. Uh-huh. I think there's like spicy potato, tamarind. They're super Moorish. Mmm. Mmm. The first one I had was sour. <laughs> Pap de chat. Pap de chat. Yeah, nice. Oh, it actually looks like you can come sit out here closer to the garden. In the garden setting, that's pretty awesome. Very cool walkway. Another taste of India place. Right next to Panarotti's. Look at the old video. It's a really cool walkway. It is, it is pretty cool. Oh, I like the colours of the uh, Oh, is that why you drink the walk? Yeah. I'll let it go back so you can see more of me. <laughs> it is definitely this sort of day. Eaters, dim sum, really feel like some dim sum. We're heading back into the main part of the, the mall right next to the, the park here. So it's the park and then this shop, which I have to go see, Mini So. It's like so bizarre. I'm, I'm going to go in there because it looks so Japanese. Uh, <laughs> let's go inside and have a look, Rick. I'm not 100% sure what type of shop it is. I think maybe it's just like collectibles and things. Because you can get like Marvel erasers, I have no idea what those are, pens and things and cute little fluffy animals and headphones and well cable connectors and just wow and coke things Have a look, it is mini so it's Japanese design brand That's why it's so funky Now you know, Japanese design brand of all sorts of different things that this brand has designed. It's really kind of quirky. I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't even know what these are. But I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. Do you want an elephant on your floor? Or a lion? <laughs> That's the way to go about doing it. A lion floor mat. I kind of really dig that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a fascinating shop. I mean, you definitely have to come see it for yourself. It is that quirky. And that Japanese, I suppose. Quicksilver and Roxy's. Ha <laughs> ha. Where's the Island Haze, Rick? I haven't seen the Island Haze. Oh, and there's a bathroom. Oh, and there's a bathroom. Bathroom to a. Oh, big bathroom. Pretty cool. <laughs> Zentitude and attitude. A lifestyle. Fortunately, no cameras allowed, but I can show you some of the stuff from the outside. Look at these, right? They, they're all like cut out of thin wood and stuff, or, or burnt on. But she actually has the machine here. Have a look, this is the actual machine, so she can make it right here as you wait. Somebody sparkly. Uh. Get yourself a cut piece of glass there, Rick. <laughs> Best cut. That was kind of cool. Good thing we're not flying our drone at the moment. That thing is right close. Welcome Paris. Welcome Paris. It's actually a nice pull off, pick up and drop off point right by the entrance. That's cool. And in case I didn't mention before, a lot, a lot of parking. On the outside of the mall, they have a, a fish shop, which is closed and a Toyota, which is closed as well. Oh, there's a KFC! Everyone, there's a KFC! After a short break to look at Diamond Sparkle and Aeroplanes Land, we are back on. They actually have these elephant things that I suppose are side tables. Yeah. And they're like 5,700 rupees. 
And they've got other things because they got clothing and fabrics. And then... And then like also a, a game. A game, yes. This is a famous game. We actually have to go play it sometime. Jetha Tosada, and look who's going into it. Yeah, that's Ricky. <laughs> oh, stuff on promo. So this is pretty cool. They've got all these summer dresses. And I think they're all marked down to like 2 99 That's awesome. And it fits you perfectly. It is just your style. Who knew this is your shop? Love it. Do they have one in the north? Beautiful. I don't know. This is so pretty. I think that uh -huh. might get around my hips. But... <laughs> oh, no, <that's> it <laughs> might. And there's menswear. I'll be back. You can do the girl stuff. They have braces and, and cummerbunds, I think they're called. And like proper shirts and everything. Belts. Cufflinks and bling. Definitely have to get one of these at some point. They have a whole bridal and design lounge. Ooh, wow. So you can sit and, and they, they design you in the lounge. So busy looking at the girl stuff. It's incredible. Oh. 17,700. Wow. To look like a prince. It is really, really beautiful stuff. And that is because it comes from India originally. So this is actually a shop that's come from India into Mauritius. And they have one in Goodlands and in Triole and in Cure Peep and all over the place. And we've just first time seeing it right here in Rosebell, as far away from us as possible. Well, anyway, Ricky can shop somewhere now. Because it's always raining here, they actually have a place to put your umbrella. <laughs> awesome. There is one thing here. Okay, so you got the mall and you got the plant. So you can't actually get to that side. So I'm just going to show you from this side that there are lots of shoes on that side. But it's actually, okay. Actually they're on that side. Well, I love shoes. We got Ricky stuck on and she won't notice those shoes there anyway. So <laughs> let's keep going. Kid star. No, that's his young style. Oh, young style. Ricky is way too old for young style. <laughs> oh, wow, she hit me. But anyway, let's carry on down towards, it looks like a winner's at the end. So you got your jewelry and makeup and, and all that sort of thing in the middle of the mall. It means they've run out of space in the shops and they have to bring more people in. Successful mall. And they have to bring more Hollywood. Successful mall. And a makeup shop. Celio with an asterisk. That normally means conditions might apply, so it might not be Celio all the time. <laughs> Looks like clothes. Looks like men's clothes, actually. Oh, and look, just in the distance, you can make it out. Island Haze. They have one. <laughs> Found the Island Haze and then Agro Kiosk. Agro Kiosk? This is food security. Oh, this is part of food security. So they've got the onions and potatoes, which they're doing, and I suppose they're doing lemons and garlic now as well. Oh, awesome. As we walk closer to the winners, there are a lot more people. So that's where all the cars in the parking lot come from. Oh, that actually looks like 361. So they do have a 361 here as well. Man, it is packed here. Rose Bell shops here. Oh, there's an Aqua Valley. Aqua Valley, that means like water. And giant koi. Oh, medium-sized koi. <laughs> oh, man, there's something about aquariums. Oh, no, man, we got on the wrong side of the, the grass. Ricky found the shoes. <laughs> They laid out so beautifully. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what we're getting. Korean. So this is, and this is our full menu. They do a lot of great looking things, so we're going to try and see what it's like. Thank you. First time. And this is full. Baby chicken. And the latest thing is like a Korean style fried chicken. Oh, nice cold miranda, vanilla. Man, it's been so long since I've had one. I've forgotten how refreshing they are. This episode brought to you by... No, it's not. <laughs> it's brought to you by us. Got it. Here it is, it's wrapped. Ooh, it looks good. Let's go to the beautiful garden setting. Oh, what we got, what we got. Oh, I'm going see if I can. Pineapple cheese. Open it up to get a good shot of it. Where's the chicken, right? I don't know. Ah, well. That's the chicken. Mm. 
I like those. I'm gonna try some burger. It's quite nice, it's pretty juicy. Okay. Um, the chicken. And good bun. Mmm. Very soft. It's a tasty burger. Beautiful garden setting behind you. <laughs> oh. Oh, I kind of like the ketchup. The sauce and the sesame on top. Mmm. Mmm. Looks really great. Mmm. Place footage from the other angle. Yeah. The batter is really good. The chicken is juicy. It's good. Well, we've come to a decision. KFC makes a better piece of chicken. But by a mile, this burger wins over the rounder. How to wash your hands in a humid climate. Yeah. Condensate. <laughs> so from the food court, you can actually walk through the beautiful garden setting. This is really nice. Wow, what a spectacular mall. Look at that, there's actually a massive pool. Like birds and things. Down south, Rose Bell. That's the market, and that's the mall. <laughs> wow, place sounds. Actually, is a village, and we're adding it to our visit every village videos. <laughs> I think so. I think so. And shopping. Anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>